Hi, today is Friday, November 20th. I'm Mike Malcolm, and here's what's coming up at the Church of St. Mary. Well, probably the big story is not what's taking place on campus with construction, but what is taking place off campus. Synergy Architects are the people who designed the building, and they are having a lot of meetings at their office to explore and approve the materials that will be used for construction. So Nabholtz, our general contractor, is building the building, and they have to submit for approval the materials to Synergy to make sure that we get what we're uh, designed, what we're designing for. So that's big news. Related to that, at least one parishioner and another uh, student at Bishop Kelly High School are interning at Synergy Architects. So I intend to try to get an interview with them sometime soon. Stay tuned. Also out here, we've run into a bit of a conflict between some unforeseen utilities that run underground. But don't worry, our team is on it and they're working with the city of Tulsa and with um, ONG to get everything resolved. And I'll keep you posted on that. Follow up from last week, our gym floor has been eh, somewhat repaired. There's a temporary patch on it that has um, replaced a section of the floor that had buckled due to moisture underneath the floor. So we're working to get the permanent solution determined, but first we have to determine the root cause of it. I'm told that there is a pipe that ducts some rainwater down through a wall next to the gym, and the at the base of that pipe, there's a disconnection. So we're going to work on reattaching that, figuring out how to dry the floor underneath, the, the subfloor, underneath the gym floor to maybe save some of it. And I'll keep you posted on all that. What else is going on? Well, next week is Thanksgiving. And uh, because of that, I'm not gonna be putting out a video next Friday, nor will there be streaming mass on Thursday or Friday. Uh, we'll see what happens with Wednesday. I'll keep you posted on that. Looking ahead, right around the corner to December, we've got a number of great activities and some exciting announcements, including lessons and carols that will be sung and read by members of the St. Mary Choir. That's gonna be a beautiful evening of sacred song and sacred scripture combining to welcome us to Advent. And speaking of Advent, the parish's women's ministry is working very hard to be able to bring you Advent by Candlelight on Thursday, December 3rd. It's gonna be an all virtual event for you. And whether you choose to decorate a table, get all the candles and decorations set up, or if you just wanna light a single candle and watch on your tablet or on a computer on your smart TV, you can do whatever you want. It will be Thursday, December 3rd, and it will be something spectacular. There's one more great big concert coming up. It's gonna be on December 16th, and it will be a concert of Christmas and, and mainly Advent hymns featuring soprano Sarah Coburn, accompanied by Lyndon Meyer and a bunch of great, great musicians. It's something that you don't wanna miss. That will be some tickets available in person, but then also we'll live stream it as well. So um, we'll be publishing very soon the Christmas schedule and getting more information to you about ticketing for Christmas masses. More on that later. Take care, have a happy Thanksgiving, and I look forward to seeing you sometime soon.